it's running! Yeah. Look at its face. Never noticed that from Armour 2. We, me and Frodo used to fanny about with the goats all the time on Armour 2. <laughs> Sorry? I never, never noticed. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> we used to fanny about with goats. Did you? On, Did uh, you write? Like, okay. In the uh, in the armory. Why? Because it's funny that you could just play as a goat, and they had a goat um, <laughs> obstacle course. Why is it like in a permanent state of shock? I don't know. <laughs> it's just had a stroke. It's had like <laughs> some terrifying experience, and it's just frozen <laughs> in that position. Uh, shall right, I kill it? I'm gonna run up the east. Yeah. To. No, stop oh. running away. Oh, Jesus. Heartless. Mm. Wait, your Rap standard of life is that you always need tinfoil, or is it just for sandwiches? Yep. Well, um, well, it depends on the food, really. I would wrap, like, biscuits in tinfoil. If I wasn't going to bring a whole pack of... If I wasn't going to bring a whole packet of biscuits somewhere, I just wanted to bring, like, a small payload of biscuits, <laughs> and I would wrap them in tinfoil just to keep them biscuity. I'll, I'll put, I'll make my sandwiches all nice and fresh, right, and then right. I'll put them in tin foil, and then like four hours later, I'll pull them back out of the tin foil again to eat them, and it's like I'd never. Aren't they a little left bit them. crushed? No, no, no. So they don't have the cling film effect then. No, they definitely don't have the cling film effect. And I put them in a food bag and tie the food bag up and put it in my bag. What's a food bag? Like, just one of those minute, like, one of those small, kind of, um... Like, similar to the kind of bags you get at the vegetable section of a supermarket. Uh, like yeah. Oh, of... I don't like them either! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, those things are a little like cling film. They don't... Yeah. yeah, no, but that's just to keep, that's just to, like, as a housing for the tinfoil. See, I think, I think they've got something to hide, like, they've kind of got that glazed <laughs> look, they've got really slippery plastic... Uh, it's like, it's not like a normal plastic bag, it's really slippery and weird and thin. It's not... Yeah, I always... No, I'll agree with you, I wouldn't want my food coming into contact with it. You know, I'll wrap my vegetables in it, but then go home and wash them before I eat them. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so okay. Absolutely. But... <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> what is going on? Food sanitation. We're talking about food sanitation. Food sanitation. It's a really important issue if you're surviving a zombie apocalypse. I mean, this uh, could be really, re this could be like, relative, relevant, that's the word. Uh, this relative. could be relevant to these guys' interests. They, if they, they're going to yeah. raid a supermarket, they're going to have to make these decisions, and it's a good thing they debated it over beforehand, otherwise they'd just have an argument. Yeah, and you wouldn't want to have an argument in a supermarket, especially in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, what, what's in well, front of us? What's in front of us? Ah, uh, it's Krishina. Yes, it is. Ah, yeah, nice. iconic. Iconic, iconic. Krishina. Yeah. With its ball on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> so we're very near the airfield. We are very near the airfield. Shall we? <laughs> ball on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> That's literally what it is, isn't it? What literally. even? What is it though? I. Uh, I is it a water tower? I think it might be a water tower. But if I built a water tower, I wouldn't build one like that. No, I wouldn't either. I'd build it to accommodate more water than that. Yeah, personally. a circle is not a very. I mean, it must have been. Not only is it not very practical as a design. Can you imagine how hard it would be to build that? I couldn't I don't build know. that. Jory, what do you think it is? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> what do you think it is? No, Jory, what do you think the tower in Grishino is? <laughs> um... A, a, a lighthouse. No, definitely <laughs> not a lighthouse. Uh, <laughs> uh, for space rockets. Oh, okay. It could be a space rocket. That's no, 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 he means like a lighthouse for space rockets. Yeah. Oh... I think that no, no, no it is because you don't. If you oh, think about it. No. No, think it about it. It doesn't have a light on it. It doesn't need <laughs> light. It's a it's a space rocket lighthouse. Like, yeah, if, like it, uses, <laughs> it uses like infrared. That's stuff. yes. Yeah. <laughs> and like radio signals and shit. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't need. Why um, would an Eastern European village <laughs> need a lighthouse <laughs> for space rockets? <laughs> because. 
they have space rockets for crashing. They have a really yeah. persistent problem with the space <laughs> rockets. <laughs> <laughs> and they just needed it, so they just got some council funding, <laughs> and they were just like, "This is going to be for the be for the for the good of everyone if we just if we get something done about this." Uh. And now that you know. 100% reduction in space rocket crashes at Christina. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the only, there's, a, there's a way to settle this. Are there any space rockets crashed around it? <laughs> <laughs> it speaks for itself. Not, then it's there is a significant. Working. Yeah, there's a significant lack of space rockets, crashed space rockets. Yeah, so, in the you know, vicinity. it's clearly doing the job.